All right, once it's loaded, then you can start the levels questionnaire. Again, I know Creed, and we've done this many times, but I'll go through it for you guys. So, how would you describe their use of symbols? Um, most of the kids, you know, at this point have been introduced to at least some pecs or, you know, some picture symbols of, you know, what means what, you know, even if your kid can tell a picture of a chair is a chair, you know, a real life chair, you know, I, I would go further on, um, you know, such as understands that symbols represent concrete ideas such as objects and all that kind of stuff. Creed at this point, uh, obviously, from what you have seen, uses symbols spontaneously, um, and he also combines um, lots of different stuff. So he's actually at the bottom at this point. Sometimes I might just use that one depending on where where he is. He goes back and forth. Then you have to decide, you know, what's, what best describes their need for help to communicate. Um, often, before a device, our kids start right here. Um, and so if you're brand new at all of this, this might be the one that I would start at because it's familiar communication partners must guess what facial expressions, vocalizations, gestures, and behaviors, uh, you know, that, that's what shows the communication. Um, some of the kids, again, have been exposed to pecs and some of the other stuff, and they can use symbols or whatnot. So a lot of times if you're just beginning with the device, you're going to do one of these first two. Um, Creed at this point, um, he's not quite at the... Um, the last one, he still needs a little bit of support from us to help him get to the right pages and some of that kind of stuff. Um, so, we'll be at that one for Creed. How would you best describe your desire to communicate? Creed absolutely wants to communicate all the time. He gets what he wants, he tries to lead you, he tries to show you in every possible way. Um, so it depends, you know, some kids start out where they don't desire to communicate, then you're going to want to do that one. And then it goes on from there. Um, you know, initiates communication about a broad range of topics using socially appropriate comments, questions, you know, the, that's normally not for, you know, kids like Creed so far, and, you know, he's not ready quite for that, but he does use symbols and objects spontaneously to communicate basic needs and beginning to communicate, communicate requests, comments, ask questions with support. Um, that's where a lot of the kids are. How would you describe their ability to understand conversations? Creed, again, he knows what you're saying. It took a long time for people to figure out we knew what he was, you know, we knew that he knew what we were saying. Um, but if, if your kiddo can understand, you know, simple directions and things like that, then you're going to want to do this one. Um, and that, that's going to be a lot of the kids. And then how do you describe their literacy skills? Um, you know, can I identify letters of the alphabet in picture books, uh, beginning word awareness, recognize their name. Creed can actually read um, on a basic level, um, mainly sight words. It's hard for him to sound out words since he can't talk. So he kind of learns by sight words. Um, and so I kind of, I just go middle of the road for a lot of it. In the end, this part doesn't matter that much. I'll show you what matters more as we get into this. And then you, you have to decide how you want your page organization. A lot of people I have seen them use the visual scene uh, where you'll have a picture of a kitchen and you'll see a fridge and a sink and all that kind of stuff. Or in the classroom you'll see desks and the teacher's desk and the board, things like that. Um, I know it's to kind of set a context for communication about a topic, um, but I, Creed has never used visual scenes ever, so I don't have a lot of say into visual scenes. Um, he has always used the grid format and that's what he's familiar with. He gets confused with the scenes because uh, he doesn't understand why it pops up a whole nother page. And that's kind of what happens with visual scene is and, you know, it gives you the background for making page selections but it really cuts down on the language that they immediately see. I personally like the grid with the nav bar um, because it's broken up into topics anyway. Um, but I, I know a lot of people, especially the younger kids, I think that use the visual scene. But for some of our older kids, I pretty much stick to the grid with nav bar. And then you're done. And it gives you the level, which Creed is a level four at this point. He's transitional independent. He still, still needs help getting to pages, um, but he's 
um, has spontaneous com communication after that. Um, and so I, I will stick with that. Again, I chose grid over visual scene. There you can kind of see the difference. Uh, see how many rows and choices he has here, and he has a tab selection. Creed uses that. Uh, we use five tabs for like almost all of them, or six tabs. Um, visual scenes I have found cut down on a lot of things, although I understand if you hit that then another grid pops up. Um, to me it's just too much clicking. Uh, Creed likes this. So we're doing that. I don't need a tour, so we're good, but some of you guys might need a tour, so go have at it. Then this to me is the most important part, select topics. I select a lot. Now, first, Creed does not attend school, so you will not see me use any school uh, icons, really, except for ones that we use at home school. Uh, so for all of these are blacked out except for the About Me. So the way that you get them to uh, light up is click on it, and then you hit Show. Then you hit Save. We'll go in later how you change the icon and how you change what it says, because you can change both. Uh, you know, birthday is important. Creed likes to talk about birthdays because he likes to talk about presents. And so basically you go through all the ones um, that you want to see. I do not do breakfast. I also do not do um, dinner or lunch or any of the other ones because uh, Creed, uh, we just have it under meals. Uh, his food is pretty restricted because of his allergies, so it doesn't really matter what he has for breakfast as long as he eats breakfast. I don't care what food he eats. Um, so we don't break it up like that. Creed likes bubbles. Doesn't ride a bus. We do talk about the calendar. We do camp. The car is his favorite one on earth. And you'll see on his actual device, car is different because I changed the icon. We'll get into that later. Uh, we're hoping to add some play skills so I'm adding cards. He does not do centers. He loves Christmas. We don't do classroom. We don't even do computer, really. We do the iPad. Um, he does do cooking, which he loves. We see a dentist. Now, I do add in desk work because we do desk work for homeschooling. Um, then we do the doctor. I choose little, even though he's older, some of the little kid pictures he enjoys more than the adult ones. Or sometimes the adult ones are too old. Working on independence with dressing, so we add that in. He's a teenager, so exercising for sure. Fast food, gee, I think that's his favorite. If you guys know Creed, you know it's his favorite. Uh, games. Grocery again when we go shopping. Um, no gym class. There is a Halloween. We have begun to open up his interest page. If he wants to tell a joke, he can. We do have a mall. Here's that meals page I was talking about, which is where all his food talk at home goes. Same with TV and movies. He's a little old for Mr. Potato Head. Music, I actually added in a picture of his iPod because that's funny. Uh, my body. He has a family. Uh, my needs is actually a super important page and I'll show you guys that later. We do news of the day and lots of his therapies, so we add in that. He loves parks. He loves parties. So you can see, there's, ton there's every situation you could possibly think of. And Creed hasn't even learned all of them yet. He's still going through them. For some reason they call the playground a playset. But that's just because it has the tunnel. It has the slide and swings and everything. He wants me to read a story. No recess for him. When we're sitting down in a restaurant versus fast food. There's some different language for that. Same if he wants to use the restroom when we're out. Salon. You know, he gets his hair cut. He likes his sensory page, which we also use for his OT page. When we go shopping for non-food items. I don't do snacks again. Everything's in meals. So there's no point. The fun thing I will show you guys after this is um, we have to order them. And then you can add new ones, which I'm going to do that in a separate tutorial because I added quite a few new topics to Creed's page. So I know for a fact that sensory 
whoops, sorry, when you want to move topics up, otherwise they're in this exact order. I like to put creates high frequency topics toward the top. So you're going to hit manage. If you see that in the corner here, I hit uh, manage with the gear shift. And then these two are next to each other so I can move them at the same time. And those go all the way up because he uses, the, oh I can only do one at a time, I thought I could do both. This part sucks, it's basically a lot of this. Hopefully, at some point, Dynabox will let me move, like do a, you know, hit the button control and move multiple, because this is one of the most popular. So I send all his most popular ones toward the top immediately. Um, after that, uh, it doesn't matter so much. If you don't unclick it, then unfortunately it doesn't move it. This is the part I hate them. I hate because it takes freaking forever. But there are some key things that he does that we move up. As long as I get in the vicinity, I'm happy. Might as well move this one down because Christmas is a little ways away. And then we get to one that I need. You can see how this goes. We do doctor because he does a lot of doctor stuff right now. You'll see me fine tune this some more in a minute. See all this stuff he doesn't he doesn't do very often. This is a new one we're working on, so I'm going to be on that. Grocery. That's pretty high on the list. He loves grocery shopping just as much as he likes to go out to eat. Alright, I'm going to do this for a minute and then I'll come back.